Hey fire signs, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys, an oracle reading. I got a one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to pull one more wisdom. No, we'll just do this. Alrighty. Don't mind my fancy pants, alright? They're beautiful. If you want them, get them on Walmart. Oh, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't even know if I got them at Walmart. Who cares? Anyway, okay, so we got six Oracle decks. I'm just going to pull a few from each of these decks and see how they all come together for you guys. This is for Aries, Leo, and Sag. All right, so I'm going to pull some cards first and just let them, I mean, I'm going to explain them in a second. Blessed, truth be told, never-ending story, and time for a nap. I feel like the angels are with you because whatever situation that you're going through keeps on repeating itself. It's the same old thing over and over again. And it's like with the truth be told thing, I think the angels are trying to make you open your eyes and make you realize that, you know what I mean, what you really do want in life. Like, do you want to keep on going down these same, same aesthetic, you know, um, patterns over and over again, or do you want to try something new? And then you have time for a nap. So it's like, yeah, you're stressing too much over this, and it's like the universe wants you to take a break. That was a lot. Door, new doorways are opening for you, all right? And they're opening with new opportunities. So I feel like the reason why the angels are, you know, trying to guide you to opening your eyes is because you do have something else waiting for you, all right? It's like, and if you keep on staying stuck in, in this never-ending story, it's just going to stay that way, you know what I mean? And you're never going to be able to, you know, get out of that just continuous loop of just, like, sadness. I don't know. I don't know. If it's an, a never-ending story, it doesn't feel so happy to me. So it's just like, you know what I mean? So... Sagittarius, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius, have Sagittarius in your chart, obviously you're Sagittarius, Airy, Leo, Sag, so this, this is just saying adventurous, independent, and humorous. I feel like this is a time for you to be on your own, or at least do things that's good for you with the independent part, okay? And adventurous, I feel like this is a time for you to finally get out and like, you know, enjoy, you know, the world. I feel like maybe you guys kind of hid away or sheltered yourself too much from other people and other things, and you kind of like held your back, yourself back from being able to walk through these new doors. And I feel like with the Truth Be Told card, this is going to be a new um, eye-opener for you. Something that's actually going to be like a realization for you to finally like, I don't feel like, you know, somebody's going to, it, it could be say, saying that somebody is holding a secret from you and it's like it's going to come out and the angels are going to help you with this. And it's going to help you be able to make a decision with this never-ending story. It can mean that, but it can also mean that you are just finally noticing your truth, noticing what you really want. Then you have familiars. You are being protected by pets and animals. So any pets or, you know, animals that you've lost or whatever, just know that their spirits are with you and helping you, got, helping, guiding you, especially with the angels. Okay. Now, if this is about a relationship, these are my romantic, romance cards. All right. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. And I feel like you're not, you know what I mean? I feel like you're you're stuck in this loop, this never-ending loop, and it's like, you know, keeping you stuck. Now, this could be like in relationship, it could be in a job, it could be in family, friendships, whatever type of situation, whatever is continuing on and on and on for you, then you know what I mean? It's like that is about to, um, I think finally your never-ending story is going to be over. Uh, yeah, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. All right, so a breakup maybe um, coming soon, um, a loss of a job maybe coming soon, or you're ending your job, you know, quitting your job or something like that, Sempor separation, anything that you're going to be separate from. So I do feel like you're moving on from something. And then you have, to, you deserve love, you are lovable. So that just tells me that, you know, whatever cycles that you've been through, it could be through your whole life. So maybe you didn't have such a good life growing up and it kind of sprouted up until you, you grew up, you know what I mean? And it, it's kind of the same old pattern over and over throughout your whole life, okay? But just know that if other people can't love you, that you are lovable. It's nothing wrong with you. It's just other people didn't know how to love. It was their problem, not yours, okay? So don't never think that, you know, because you, nobody can treat you right, that nobody else is going to, or that it's something that's wrong with you because it's not, all right? It's something in other people that they don't know how to treat people. It's their problem, not yours, anyway. A new romantic cycle begins. I think this is why they want you to end this never ending story, because they do have something better waiting for you. Meditate and contemplate. If you have questions, answer it, or questions and you need answers to it, the best thing to do is meditate with that question in mind. 
<clears throat> that way you can get an answer from within, okay? Because that's the best place to go is with ourselves, to ask ourselves and get the answers from ourselves because only we know what is the best for us because we know what we want and what we don't want, what we want to put up with and what we don't want to put up with. One, two, three, four, five. I know I'm missing like a deck of cards that I didn't do. Okay, I found it. All right, so you have air. This is about being logical, thinking. All right, I'm also going to read this for you guys. I'm going to pull one more or a whole bunch more. <clears throat> Which is cottage. Oh, my lordy. You just feel like your life is falling apart. I feel so bad because, because every time I'm doing like a reading like this, I can feel the energy and then my cards just go all over the place. I know that's what you're feeling. You're feeling like things are just falling apart for you, all out of whack for you. Okay, so you have air, witch's cottage, witch tower of the east, and cleansing, water cleansing. Okay, so you have air and water, all right? And your fire, all right? So air feeds fire and water puts it out. So anyway, I don't know why I said that. All right, so I'm going to read you guys these. You have message and loyalty. All right, so we'll do the witches one first, air. All right, imagination. This is saying, work with the element of air to stand the mint, <laughs> to still the mind. Mm -hmm. Meditate daily, start a new project, trust your second sight, write, paint, or draw, get outside, hear the wind, take long walks, or skydive. <laughs> as the dawn awakes in the east, air calls to us to breathe in the sacred element as a focus of communication, movement, knowledge. Air is the element of new life and possibilities. Air reflected through the four winds carries our thoughts and dreams, binding them together as one force of visualization and focus. And you have Watchtower, two W's of the east. Bear with me. Okay, work with the element of air too. So you got two. Watchtower of the East is also an air element. So you may very well be dealing with the air sign. Can, I mean, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, all right? This um, Watchtower of the East is spring. And it says, work with the element of air to enhance your meditative, meditative and visionary skills. You will be assisted in a test or exam that is coming up. Your creative juices are flowing. This is a good time to open your ideas and cast your spells at dawn. Hail and welcome against the Hail and welcome ancient ones in the magical circle of the east. The air blows new ideas and thoughts as the wand points us in the direction, in the right direction. The element of air induces the winds of fortune as we focus on new beginnings. As the sun rises at dawn, it welcomes springtime, and the goddess in her maiden aspect and the god as the youth. Sorry, I don't know why I can't read right now. I'm actually like a very fast reader, so I feel like when I read slow, I think that's why I can't read right. Let other, okay, which is cottage. Let others in instead of shutting them out. You are protected, supported, and safe. Trust in a divine outcome. Recognize your strengths and talents. A new weight, a new home awaits. Rediscover your likes and dislikes. Don't try too hard to fit in. Now, when it says a new home is um, awaiting, it could be a new love. It could be a new start, a new way of doing things. It's like something new is waiting for you. Within the witch's cottage, you will find all you need to change and transform your life. Here you will find magic as the cottage, hearth, or kitchen which finds the tra and transforms the mundane into the sacred. A kitchen altar with a corn, dolly, spells, recipes, herbs, living plants, comforting foods, family, daily needs are all part of a living, magically, part of living magically day to day. That was a lot. 33 and 45. Loyalty. I think this is talking about being true to yourself. Do you know the story of a beautiful red vampire who saw the good in another and remained steadfast in her love against all odds? Loyalty is tested at times. You may be asked to assess whether other, others deserve your loyalty. Sometimes you find yourself in a position where it's difficult to speak up for another person, a cause, or even yourself. Now is the time to be faithful to your best qualities and to leave the rest behind. This is a true test of character. I know you will choose rightly, stand up for what you believe, and be loyal only to what is true and good. And then you have message. It's just 45. 
Do, do, do. Maybe someone will text you something nice or you will find out something nice in a phone call from a friend. Perhaps a letter will come in the mail or maybe I will send you a sign in nature that will point you in the right direction. Regardless of what you ask, you will soon know the answer or at, or at least know the way. A message is coming. Choose another card if you need to know what the message will be about. So let's see what the message is going to be about. Everyone's come out. Also, if you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Obedience. Let's see. Whatever. Obedience. Alright, so I mean somebody is breaking rules. Okay, what rules are you considering when you ask your question? You will be sorry if you're going to break a rule that is in place to protect you and others, even if even though you may not like authority right now, now is the time to obey what has already been set in motion. This is the time to learn the lay of land and to follow the customs that keep things in order. Learn the steps of the dance before you attempt to change them to suit you. So this just means that, you know, just make sure everything is in plan, you know, planned out um, before you go ahead and do things. So make sure you're doing things, you know, and like the best way, like don't go against... Uh, certain things I guess I don't know what that means to you about the whole entire role thing but like I don't know maybe court who knows I don't know but anyway that's what I got for you guys I hope this helps you guys and if you guys like my content please like and subscribe and have a good day